everybody, how you doing today? Justin, the Red Island Shaver, coming at you with a video for November 11th, Remembrance Day here in Canada, um, Veterans Day in the United States. So first off, to all those um, who have served in the past, so our veterans and our active duty, and our first responders, I would like to say thank you um, for your service uh, from myself and my family. Um, without those sacrifices, we wouldn't be in the free countries we live in today to do stuff like this. So thank you. It is very much appreciated. Um, I'm going to add some pictures in after this opening here. Uh, the first is going to be in Flanders Field. Um, the poem that was written by John McRae, a Canadian, uh, during World War I. And um, then I'm going to add in a couple other pictures. So the first picture after that is going to be actually my great-great-grandfather who served... Um, Fought for the Queen in World War I overseas. The second picture is my grandfather. He was in the Royal Canadian Navy Reserve. Uh, he served from 1940 to 1945. And then the last picture will be of my son, who serves in an Air Cadet Red, uh, Squadron here in Canada. He has hopes of going on into the Royal Canadian Air Force as a pilot. So I'm just going to put those pictures up there. I'm very proud of my family's small involvement in service over the years and that's what we're going to do with that. So Again, guys, thank you. Like I said, to our veterans and our active duty, it is very much appreciated, okay? So, for today's shave, we're going to use a soap that uh, I've been really looking forward to trying. It is this one. Uh, it's a sample I have of tallow and steel boreal. So, uh, yeah, I've been really super excited to get this on the go. Oh, I think I'm just going to get a little smudge of it here. That should be good. And I'll just push that down into the lather bowl that I got from Jared over at the Thirsty Badger. All right, so the scent notes on this soap are cedar wood. We have cedar leaf, birch, balsam fir, black spruce, and monarda, which I think is bee balm. I, I read it up like bumblebee bomb. 10% um, of the sales from this soap go back to Nature Canada to help preserve our forests and our boreal forests. Uh, Canada is largely a forested area. A large portion of that is the boreal forest. So the essential oils used to make this soap are actually sourced from the boreal forest in Canada. So that's really cool. I know it smells amazing. It smells really, really good. Uh, nice and... Obviously woodsy, very, very fresh. Um, we're going to use the Omega. It's all slippery here. Just the Omega Knot. Uh, I'm not sure which one this is. I don't know if there's a name on it. No, I don't know which one this is, but what can you do? But anyway, damp brush. It's a good little knot. I like it. And we're just going to go ahead and lather this up. Oh, that's really, really coming alive once you start to, once you start working it there. You're really getting the, um, really getting the balsam fir and the spruce. It's very predominant. I like it. I'm just going to go with a bowl lather today, guys. I got that whole sample that I put down in the bowl that has now been latherized by my leather applicator and I'll just continue working this in yeah, and there you go it's starting to peak up already we have the, uh, the bubbles are disappearing so now would be a great time to add a little bit of water 
which we're gonna do. So yeah, a very special day here. Uh, today's the day that we honor our veterans. Uh, I was at a ceremony earlier out in the community that I grew up in. I used to be a volunteer firefighter out there, so I remember being part of that ceremony as a firefighter. And, uh, you know, it just gives you, gives you a moment for some somber pause and some thoughts. Think about the sacrifices that were made. Um, you know, back in the Great War, World War II, you know, then into Vietnam, or Korea, sorry, and then Vietnam. And then to the uh, the war on terror, and Canada's involvement in Afghanistan and peacekeeping missions and everything else. Uh, we truly are blessed that there are those that are willing to uh, to lay down their life for others, and it's something that should never, ever, ever be taken for granted. And I know in my household that is never taken for granted. Um, a lot of you guys know I am trying to get into the military here. I'm uh, I am a diabetic, so I can't I can't serve in regular roles. A little bit more water here. I can't serve in regular roles. I am trying to get in as a CIC officer. So CIC is the Cadet Instructors Cadre. So currently I work with my son's squadron. I'm part of his staff. Um, if I can get over this hurdle with the Canadian Forces as far as trying to get in, then um, I will become one of his officers and a cadet officer. So basically we just help, we help train the cadets. We, we're helping to um, uh, to train our youth, uh, you know, and, and guide them. So, you know, and instill honor and duty and and uh, all that good stuff in them. And it truly is a wonderful youth program. It's something I'm very proud to be a part of. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, I will get to serve um, as an officer in that capacity, which would be great. And then I get to do two things I've been trying to do for a long time, work with, uh, continue work with youth, and then um, serve my country as well. It's something I've been trying to do uh, for 18 years. So that lather is whipped up, um, absolutely stunning. So that's ready for the face. We'll give a quick rinse and we'll get ready to go. All right. Very nice scent on this. It's not overpowering, but it's definitely there. I give it about a, I give it about a six. But if you're into woodsy outdoor scents, this is a great one. That's a nice lather right there. All right, so the razor for today, gentlemen, once again, be my Boker, the Boker King Cutter. Uh, this was made actually in 1915, so this is World War I era uh, steel. So what, what better razor to use than this? Well, here we go, first pass. It's a slick soap, very nice.
All right, go ahead and side of the face. Here, all messed up. All right. Great first pass. Rinse off, go for number two. Lots of residual slickness on the face there. Great. Good stuff. Good stuff. Scent on this is just it's wonderful. Canadian person, Canadian outdoorsman. Absolutely love it. All right. And we will go across the green. Across the green. Hopefully everybody here in Canada got a chance to uh, get out and attend a ceremony today. Continue across the green.
Beautiful. Rinse off and go for number three. Nice sheen on this soap. Just everything is great. A lot of guys that know tallow and steel know that this is a high quality product. We have lather flying everywhere. Now it is a little bit more expensive than um, other soaps, but there is also a lot that goes into these soaps as well. Naturally sourced essential oils, locally made tallow, so it is a high-end product for sure. He does have some amazing scents as well, so... Uh, if you've been on the fence about buying tallow and steel, just go ahead and buy it. It's good stuff. All right, we'll do another across the grain on the neck and then against the grain on the face. Oh, well, we're not going to start having tripod problems today. It took me forever to get this phone set up. It did not want to stay. All right, see if I can get this fixed. Bear with me. Just bear with me. There, we're good. We're good, we're a little cockeyed, but I think that'll be all right to finish. Very nice. I've got a hand spasm. Oh, it's been a rough day, guys. All right, I think that's gonna do it. Go for the quick rinse and then the post shave. All 
right, there's Lemon Witch Hazel. Let me get that worked in. So, there you have it guys, um, pretty nice close shave today, didn't go for the BBS, I haven't been going for the BBS lately at all, I've uh, just been straight shaving more and more and more, there's really no point, just going for the close comfortable shave, you know, a little bit of stubble there, but nothing I can do about it. So, today's bomb, keeping with the, uh, the forest theme. Soapy Bathman Lumberjack, level two menthol. This is a great bomb for a great soap, and this should pair very nicely with the Boreal. Oh, that's beautiful. And that menthol just wax you too just like it's described walking outside in the winter into a canadian forest there you have it just bam all right guys so that's it thanks again for watching i really do appreciate it to all our veterans and active duty um, personnel and all first responders thank you very much for your service um we wouldn't be here doing what we do and love to do without you so uh, with that, I will say thanks again. As always, friends, have a great day and an even better shave, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.